All right, what's up, people? This is your boy Mike from the Technology Street Report. Visit the website. I got some good stuff on there. Um, and it's going to be a post related to uh, this video right here. So definitely go to the site, www.techstreetreport.com. And it's also posted at the bottom of the video. All right, today I'm going to just show you a couple ideas for customizing your new Evo or the Evo that's coming in the mail for you or really any smartphone. I'm going to just give you a couple ideas on you know how to customize it, get the way you want it. First of all, I'm going to talk about hardware. You got to get a gel skin for it. Forget the hard cases. I, I don't like hard case skins because number one, a lot of the buttons are still exposed um, and things can get down in there. Um, you can wind up, you know, wearing a button out, um, and like the painting or whatever starts coming off. I just don't like hard cases. Number two, if you ever got to take the battery out for a reason, these things is, is real crazy to get off. I mean, you got to get like a penny or a screwdriver or a Mack truck or something and try to pry this thing apart just to get the battery off and you got to snap it back together. I mean, I'm not for these hard cases, so my suggestion get a get a gel case um you gotta take the battery off it's simple all you do pop it off it's done it's real quick to put back on you know what i mean it's it's that simple and this gives you more protection when you look at your buttons and things nothing's really exposed your buttons i'm not gonna wear them out nothing not gonna get in there you know what i mean so only what you need to be exposed is exposed i, I definitely suggest you get a gel case number two screen protector oh by the way I got the gel case from the Sprint store I think it was like twelve dollars or something like that screen protector from Best Buy um, shout out to Invisible Shield that's what it is the Sprint store carries it for the Evo but it only covers the square portion that you you know that, that shows the picture. It doesn't cover like the buttons or anything up here. So Invisible Shield screen protector covers the whole screen. I mean that's what you need. You want to protect your investment that you just spent all your good money on. You got to have, you know what I mean, a screen, screen protector and a gel case. So that's it for the hardware. Get protected. Alright, let's get into the software. Again, if you miss something I'm talking about, it's all going to be on the website check it out you'll like it alright so I'm not a big fan of sense UI um, so I'm running a program called launcher pro um, shout out to the developers I mean this program just does everything I want to do is great um, it gives you you know these different icons down here instead of just the sense with the phone and the app tray button and it looks kind of old this launcher pro is the joint right here I mean it, it'll give you the fly out menu when you're going into um, the app drawer um, you can customize these buttons down here to even look like this or like I have it looking like a dot I also got the Nexus one I'm running on the Nexus one too but I got it set up differently so I mean I got colored icons down there um, you know with the dock looking a little different so it, it has a whole lot of options for like rotating the screen you can see on both of them how my icons on my screen don't have any words under them that's how I like it Launcher Pro does that for you no words under your icons um, another thing you are gonna do software wise is get this right here genie widget it's the same widget on this nexus one um and I, when i had the nexus one or when i you know when i first got it i fell in love with this widget for news um it, it, it's joint is just real nice weather i mean it's like the best widget i said it in my last video it's like the best widget i ever seen so you can actually download it though if you search Google for Genie Widget, you can download it for your Android device. Um, and again, it does all the same things as the Nexus One widget does. It's the same widget. So, I mean, you're good to go. 
Alright, so what else? This right here, beautiful widgets. Again, I don't really like Sense UI. It's kind of slow to me. It looks kind of old. But beautiful widgets is a nice little time piece um, with weather on it and everything like that. Uh, best thing I like about this widget is it's not just the time and the weather. It has a different clickable action for anything you click on on the screen. So it's three different things. If I hit the time. I can go to the clock. Um, if I go back, if I hit the weather, it brings up a weather application, so I'm good. Uh, and if I hit the date, I go to the calendar. So, I mean, you 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 talking about a widget, but then being able to hit three different things in that widget that you want to be able to get to. So, I mean, you got to do that. That's nice. Um, again, that's an Android market. Beautiful widgets. Um, what else? This period grid, a lot of people see this. They like, you know, how you get the Sense UI uh, calendar on your phone. It's not the Sense UI, it's called period grid widget. And it basically just, you know, shows up with a big calendar that you can make a widget and with all the same options um, as, you know, the one in Sense, but a little different. Um, so that's, that's another one you got to keep. And again, this. This uh, Launcher Pro is, is I mean, it's amazing. The, you know, one bad thing about it is, you know, Google having problems with the Android market, and it's not, sometimes it will show up and sometimes it won't. So what I've been doing is just going to launcherpro.com, and he, the developers start putting the, um, the link to the actual program on the website. So I just download it from there instead of the uh, Android market. Um what else I think that's pretty much it as far as software I'm just talking about the home screen oh yeah nice crisp wallpapers if you want some nice really sharp looking wallpapers you gotta get flicky wallpapers HD high definition wallpapers um, these joints real sharp real crisp this this how the program come up I mean it's, it's just a real nice app for wallpapers and things like that. You can set them. You can save them to, you know, your SD card or whatever. I mean, it's going to get you done. Um, other than that, I think that's it. Like I said, you don't have to make it look exactly like mine. But, you know, just giving you a few ideas. You can customize it. Um, you know, get it how you want it. Because, I mean, that's what Android is all about. So... Last thing you're going to want to do is customize your joint with some movies. You feel me? I mean, you got such a big screen. Take advantage of it. You know what I'm saying? Customize it. A few movies. Shout out to my man Isaac Hayes for throwing this sick soundtrack together. And um, this joint is straight, man. I mean, it's a real nice phone. No reason you shouldn't take advantage of it. So, I got Shaft doing here. You know what I mean? Definitely. And guess what? Go to the website. I got a part two of this video. Not only customize it, you know what I mean? With Shaft, but. We got the HDMI cable. So I'm going to hook it up to the TV, show you how that works or whatever. Check it out. Alright, y'all got any questions, either write them on the YouTube video or visit the site. Write them in the post. I'll definitely get back with you. Take it easy.